Jesus, Dakaba, you deserve so much better than this. Up, Wedding Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans, Inc. And anime and manga contributor to Bounding Into Comics. And damn straight, of course, we're going to be talking about uh, the latest news that came out uh, for Nanatsu no Tazai and Zaino Edinburgh, a.k.a. The Seven Deadly Sins, Grudge of Edinburgh. But before I get into this, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be live reactions like for Four Nights of the Apocalypse, which I've been doing ever since Chapter 1. All odd news and analysis like this video, feel free to hit up our Cash Up and PayPal links are in the description box below, as well as the link to the, um, to the content that I'm going to be covering up in here. So, first of all, my Meliodas is ashamed of this fuckery that I'm going to be covering in terms of the trailer. Yeah. Meliodas did not like it. No. Second of all, Nakaba, you deserve better than this. Your art deserves so much better than this shit. And look, I have an extremely high standard when it comes to art, especially since I have been extremely spoiled by the manga renaissance movement. You can thank Murata for that, for, well, starting that shit. <laughs> and I ain't, I, I'm not sorry for it. No. You might, guys might think I'm over the top. You guys might think I'm crazy. I don't, well, technically I am crazy because I am professionally diagnosed as mentally ill. So yes, I am crazy, but I don't give a fuck. Deal with it. I've been through enough of my life anyway. So, ha. Huh. Anyways, um, we're going to go over this trailer because the timing of this trailer is very interesting in terms of Four Nights of the Apocalypse manga, where that is concerned. I'm spoiling Four Nights of the Apocalypse manga, so fucking deal with it. If you are not up to date and uh, with it, that's all on you. But anyways. I can't show um, the trailer on the screen because, unfortunately, I am not sponsored. So, I and I cannot afford a copyright strike. I am on the verge of homelessness. Um, so, yeah. Copyright strike, I do not need. Anyways, let's get to this trailer C. see... What is in store for us here? So, so Tristan, we got to see some God. This is pure. Remember, this is um, and we'll get into Nakaba's message more about this um after I'm done covering the trailer. Uh, this is um definitely, and we kind of figured this beforehand, but this is taking place be um between uh from between the end of uh, Tazai and um, uh Four Nights of the Apocalypse. We don't know if Lancelot will be in here or not. Um, fuck, this could be when Lancelot and Jericho are already in the um, are already gone, for all we know. Which, by the way, Nakaba, we need some, we need more on that, please. I, I, I don't care if it is like um, an anime. Oh god, I kind of actually, I take that back. I want a good quality. I want it to be pretty art. I want fucking fugly ass art. We need more on this, but. <sighs> I got a feeling we have to wait until we get to the Guinevere content to really get into that. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, this is when, uh, because right now in Four Nights of the Apocalypse, Tristan is, uh, this is after, um, Tristan's, uh, heart, his pure heart has, aka Isold, um, has been, like, uh, has been fucked with. Yeah, uh, Meligaland, like, really fucked her up, and, um, Tristan lost it. Yeah, Isolde is his trigger. And, or, his second trigger, because something that we could be seeing here, and I'm wondering if this is what we're gonna see, especially based on the visual, which we'll get to after this trailer, if this is where we're gonna see, like, maybe the first time, um, Tristan uses his demon power. That'll be very interesting. So we're seeing him ride on his horse. Do, 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 do. There's Leonel's interest in riding on his horse. Nakaba, I'm going to say this. If you are not going to use Studio Orange for CGI, please do not. Uh, nah, this looks like ass. This looks like this is going to be a game. Um, uh, actually, I should say, if this was a game on the Switch, this would not look like ass. There we go. That is the right wording for this. Hmm. And yes, this is based on the manga by uh, 
my Nakaba. Yes, this is um, an official story. I, again, I'll get to the, in the message. Nakaba is writing this story. And that's why I'm like, Nakaba, why? Why do you have to torture me like this? I want this in a manga. Please don't make me watch this. Ooh. Now, who is this? Some are speculating this may be Death Pierce. I'm curious what you guys think. Ooh, yes. And is this knight here, which again could be Death Pierce or whatnot? Because they're. Oh, God, that'd be interesting if it was Death Pierce. Because remember, this is directly connected to Four Nights of the Apocalypse. If this ends up being like one of, um, ends up being a Night of Chaos, I would be happy with that. This should, if this is not a Night of Chaos, I'm going to be fucking pissed, please. Because let me see what it says here in the details here. Hold on. Um, oh, God. All right, let's keep going here. So we're seeing, we're seeing, dude, I just realized that little Fay. Hold up. Didn't we see him in the, um, in the Lancelot chapter? Hold up. I think we did. I must check. I thought that Faye that we saw looked, I thought he looked like Tingle, but he's not. He's not. Tingle is more, he is more chaotic. He looks, nah, nah, it's not Tingle. I know we saw him before, but where? I thought we saw him in Lancelot's story, but he wasn't there either. Where do we see him before? It's driving me nuts. Let me know in the comment section if you guys can remember. But I know we've seen him. But we're seeing um, Tristan fight off uh, demons. There's, there's the curse. Wait a minute. Didn't Tristan reference this recently? Um, right before he went bonkers? He did. Hold up. He referenced this. Okay, here's where it is. This is what I wanted to reference here, because this is what... I think this is... This moment in the trailer, or, like, this movie, is what um, Tristan is is referencing. Um, and this was uh, when um, Tristan um, was uh, fighting Malaskiola. And this was a while ago, right? This was like at 72? No. Where's this at 70, right? No. Yeah, it was 68. Okay, here we go. Make sure I have it here. Here we go. Yeah, it was here. Here it is. This is what it is. This evil and huge power... Uh, chapter 68. This evil and huge power, you're not... Um, that's what this trailer is! This trailer is totally referencing chapter 68. That's what this is. Okay, let me start it from here. Um, let's see... Um, let's see, um, let's see, where are you? Um, let's my spot for a sec. Hold on, let me, I need to find the right spot. Okay, now I found it. 
Born between a, um, a demon and a goddess, a Nephilim. Um, how repulsive, aka pure child. Although I can't say I feel much of the demon side, your appearance and magic are both just like that despicable woman, bloodstained Ellie. That said, it seems the ma strength of your magic doesn't even hold a, um, a candle to your mother. I know, right? Uh, what? That's true. Mo uh, Mom, mother is amazing. Compared to her, I can heal wounds, but I can't cure uh, curses or ailments. But since I'm told I resemble her upon first meeting, I guess I do resemble her a lot. The truth is, um, this right ear piercing too was given to me by um, Aunt Margaret Sama, who said you and your mother are like two peas in a pod. By the way, that episode when um, Mother was known as Bloodstained Ellie in the Demon World, could you tell me something about it? She doesn't really tell me a lot about it, um, about the past, you see. Scary! Yeah. Um. Don't mess with me. I'm not messing around. I'm quite serious. Yeah. You don't even, res you don't resemble your father, huh? I know, right? <laughs> yeah. You're really good at pissing people off. Yeah. This trailer is really, I think this trailer really is referencing, um, chapter 68. And then there's that annoying fairy as well. And ooh yeah, and the and the provokingness, yes, yes, yes. This really is. And then the, then after um, Tristan goes in demon vo mode and like fucks up uh, Melskula, then this is what Melskula says. This evil and, and huge power, you're n not anything like your mother. On the contrary, you're a monster like your father. It's because I didn't want to hear that that I, um, I didn't want to use this power. See? I feel like it's this chapter and um, oh, chapter 70, um, is it 75? Yeah, in chapter 75 it's referring to. Um, this part in particular. And this is like... Uh, after um, uh, Tristan saves Isolde, because trust me, I just have this feeling in the pit of my stomach that this is gonna, this movie is gonna show the first time Tristan when goes full blown demon. Um, and he says to call. This is why I feel like I feel like we're gonna see Lancelot in this movie. Part of me really does, because he says to call for Lancelot, and I feel like Lancelot's the one that brings him back. Um, because he says, I can't control myself on my own. We're gonna see it in this movie. I don't know if it'll be in the first part, though. We think it'll be in the second part, but we'll see. Let's keep going here. Um, so we're seeing Elizabeth get in the curse. We're see there's King. King, King looks, I'm telling you, this game is just giving me Switch tees. It looks like this would be great on the fucking Switch. Um, oh, there's Gather. There's, uh, Bon. If Bon's here, I'm telling you, you gotta have, you gotta have Lancelot here. Unless, again, unless Lancelot is already in, um, the other dimension with, uh, Jericho, we're seeing Lancelot here. No way we don't. There's Diane, who we haven't seen in fucking forever, and there's Meliodas, and there's Tristan. Yeah. Part one. Okay, so I'm going to read the synopsis here that I have, um, according to Netflix. Tristan, the son of Meliodas, um, and Elizabeth inherits the power of the goddess clan and can heal people's wounds and injuries, but he often sends up, uh, he, but he often ends up hurting others due to his inability to control his demon clan power, which we are seeing in the manga right now. Literally, we're seeing it in the manga right now in Four Nights of the Apocalypse. Tristan has lost fucking control. He has lost it. And, um... Yeah, it's not looking good for Meliodas or Tristan at the hands of King Arthur. But go read Four Nights of the Apocalypse and go watch my content. Uh, to protect his family, Tristan heads to Edinburgh Castle and meets a host of new friends along the way. Hmm. I'm telling you, if we do not see Lancelot in this movie, I will be, 
if it, we don't see him at least in the second movie, I'm going to be really fucking pissed. Seriously. But let's take a look at this concept art. Or, not concept art, I'm sorry. This teaser visual. Motherfucker, you're killing me here, Smalls. Ugh. Nakaba, why can't we just have the movie look like your beautiful art? Can, can, seriously, can I just have a manga adaptation of this? Please? Please? I am begging you. I just want a manga adaptation of this. That's what I want, damn it. I want a manga adaptation of this. The kitty wants one too. Seriously, unless you... Talk about unless you are in there cracking the whip. I, I don't know if I could sit through and watch this. I don't know. I don't know if I can. But I have Nakaba's message in front of me as well. The two movies serve as the missing link between the original series and Four Nights of the Apocalypse. Tristan is the main character, but you also see the seven deadly sins. I swear to God, if we see King and Diane's kid in this movie, I will lose my fucking shit. If this is the first movie we see, the first piece of Tazai Media we see King and Diane's kid, I'm going to be fucking pissed. Seriously, we should be seeing them in Four Nights of the Apocalypse first. This is full fucking shit if that is the case. Right, Key? You think it's bullshit too, right, Keys? You think it's fuckery. Right, Cat? I swear to God, I'm scared that that is going to be the case. And... Nakaba, I know you're going to do it. I just know you're going to fucking do it. And the reason why you're going to do it is because you're going to try and get the fans to watch the movie. Because you know for a goddamn fact that you that the fans aren't going to watch a, um, fans aren't going to watch a movie with crap art and animation. You know it's true. You know it's true, Nakaba. You know it. Anyways, Nakaba's message here. Uh, let's keep going here. Um... Whew, Trista is the main character, but you also see the seven deadly sins. A certain fan favorite is also coming back in this movie. I swear to God, if it is Escanor, I am going to be fucking livid. Keep Escanor dead. If it's Esterosa, I would not be mad. I mustn't give it anything. Uh, I mustn't give it anything else away. I know the movie uh, will be enjoyable. Don't miss it. The movie would be more enjoyable if the art looked good. I'm just, it's killing me, man. It is. But let's take a look at what, let's take a look at the production here. See what the fuck is going on with this production. Do, 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 do. Let's see what we got here. We're going to start off. We got two directors. All right. Let's look at both of them. Because fuck it. Why not? The only, we got. Five seconds. I need caffeine for this. Let's look at these directors. Alright, so we got Noriyuki Abe here. And he was the director of Bleach. And he did the storyboard. And he was the episode director. Aw, oh, motherfucker. Nope. We're fucked. This is the chief director of Borto. Why? 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 This is not fair. Oh. All right, I'm going to say something about Borto. Here's the thing with Borto, okay? Because I know a motherfucker's going to hate. The Boruto anime and the Boruto manga are two different entities. The Boruto manga, Kishimoto is right, actually writing the Boruto manga. Go read the Boruto manga. The Boruto anime is has taken a different form. It, it's its own entity. Stay the fuck away from it, okay? Minus a few episodes that actually adapt the manga. Oh my god. Why? How did this happen? Where? How did this. My dude. Ryuki Abe, how did you go from directing Yu Yu Hakusho and Bleach to fucking shit up with, um. Uh. Oh 
Oh, he directed the Tazai, previous Tazai movies. Oh, why? Oh, my dude, how, how did you fall so far? Why? He fucked up Bleach. He fucked up Black Butler. Ugh. Why? Oh, we did the original Tokyo Mew Mew. Dude, this guy's got a resume. I'm a play devil's advocate on this. Bleach, um, Bleach, the original Bleach anime is not completely his fault. That was studio interference, and the same can be said for Tokyo Mew Mew, and the same can be said for, um, for Boruto as well. So you know what? I will give you a pass on certain things with that. But... Black Butler, I am not giving you a pass. Fuck no. The OV, the movies and the OVAs, maybe. The original one, oh fuck no. You you ain't getting a pass on that. Let's see. Is there any other ones here? Um. Dude, this is such fuckery. Yeah. If there's anything, this is going to be studio interference. Man, this is why we know Yuki Abe, I have to say it. It's like, dude, at some point, it's no longer studio interference, and it's the mother, and it's this, and and it's bad, or studio interference, or bad luck, and it's, it's the man himself. I don't know. I want to know what you guys think in regards to Noriyuki Abe, because I can't. Because Noriyuki Abe has put some shit animation out there. He's had some great animation, but he's also had some shit animation, too, with Boruto. I can't forgive. I, I can't forgive that. And I can't forgive the past Tazai situations as well. That's why I'm like, I, I can't. I can't. I know there's some fuckery going on, but Jesus Christ. Oh. Nakaba, you need to get do something. Oh my god, you need to do something. I know, but, oh god, you need to get Kadasha to save this manga. You need to get Kadasha. I'm scared for Four Nights of the Apocalypse. I am fucking scared. Seriously. Nakaba, you need to step the fuck in and tell him to stop. Seriously. You need to step in and tell him to fuck off. You need to pull um a Sirachi at this point. And get, uh, uh, I swear we need to cap knock up a pull of Sirachi and be like, nah, nah. I'm, well, no, we can't have knock up a completely pull of Sirachi, but because that means no more Four Nights of the Apocalypse manga. Nah, I need my Four Nights of the Apocalypse manga. Part of me is like, I don't even care anymore because I kind of want to, because, um, I, I, about this anime because I just want to read Four Nights of the Apocalypse. But in this case, if you're giving me an original story, Nagaba, you need to step the fuck up. You need to ask Oda or some or someone for advice. You need to ask Toriyama or um, Imato or Ayama. Oh, ask Ayama. Dude, ask Ayama for advice on this one. The uh, manga detective coding. Because they step the fuck up on um, when it comes to uh, uh, anime adaptations. They know. All right, let's take a look at this other director that's listed here. All right, so we got the Hitalia Axis Power Director, and this is uh, Nobu um, Shirahata. Gravitation. There's a, like, this is the thing that sucks. This is why I'm like, okay, I have to question if this is a studio thing or if this is a direct... Because he's not the chief director, and I'm thanking God for this, because uh, the stuff he's directed is very questionable. But, seriously, I don't know. I don't know if this is a studio thing or what. Let's Speaking of, let's take a look at the studios. So, this ain't, uh, let's see if this is related to Studio Dean in any way, because so far it's not looking like it. I've never heard of any of these series. And that's Marvy Jack anime, which has um, done um, Ukami uh, to uh, Koshin Let's see. Oh, 
Oh, it's spice. Dude, they did spice and wolf. Oh, he did spice and wolf. Why does this look like ass? Alfred image works. Really? You claim you were established in 2003 and you've only done one series? Are you fucking for real? No way. No way. Let's take a look at this. Let's uh, let's look at this. Let's see what 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 they've done here. Hmm. Oh, so they are doing um. I I've seen like uh, the Ami Yuji uh, Kanata. I saw that at Netflix. Or one of the Ami Yuji's. It looks like they do mainly like. They do a lot. Of, oh, they do. Oh, this is some CGI shit. Hold up, what is this? Oh, so they did Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, these motherfuckers did Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, they did the Seven Deadly Sins video games. No wonder it looks like a video game! They did the Seven Deadly Sins video games! <laughs> ah, that explains a lot! Oh my god! It's for Netmarble! Okay, that explains a lot. Is all this net Netmarble? It's Netmarble and Giant and Nexon. Oh, they did the minion shorts too. So they do like they basically do CGI work. Love those. They did. Oh my god, this explains a lot. Some of this, I will say this though. Some of the CGI work that I'm seeing here, some of it looks really nice. Like the stuff that they did for NetEase, uh, like for um, Tiny Revelations Online, um, and Hit with Nexon, um, uh, Maple, uh, Maple Story 2 looks really nice. Counter Strike Online looks nice. Like some of this stuff looks really good. So, again, I have to question something's going on. I don't know who, who's doing this. Who is, which direct, something's going on. Who's directing this? Or, not to, to. Who is, um, who's the one telling them to make the, uh, the, this animation look like this? Who's doing this? Who's saying, yeah, let's make, the, let's make Seven Deadly Sins look like this? Who's saying that this is the right thing? Especially if this is going to be the in-between for to uh, Fortnite to the Apocalypse, which is a much darker series. <sighs> Nakaba, I don't know why you are allowing this to happen. I don't know if it's contract or what, but I'm telling you, this has got to be like a studio thing. Like, I, again, I don't know if it's Netflix or a TV broadcast or what. I don't know. Netflix, if you're the one that doing this, then you are a piece of shit, and fuck you. If it's another outside party, then fuck you too. But Nakaba, you need to do something. Kanansha, what are you guys doing about this? I question Shueisha. Shueisha has some, some problems. I, uh, I have problems with Shueisha when it comes to certain adaptations. I do. But motherfucker, this is ridiculous. The writing's gonna be fabulous because it's Nakaba's writing, but this art, it's a, it's a bitter improvement than what we saw at first, but motherfucker, this better look better. This looks like, this went from looking like a Nintendo 64 game to a Switch game, so I guess that is an improvement, so I'll give you that, but... 
I don't know if I can watch this. I don't know. I I feel like I'm going to have to force myself to watch this because of the lore. God fucking damn it. I need a manga of this. What do you guys think of the, of, um, of this, uh, of this movie? Um, do you guys think we're going to see Lancelot in this at all? Or do you think that this, during this time period, that this is going to take place while Lancelot is gone? Because it says it's focusing on Tristan and, um, the Seven Deadly Sins. I think this might be during the time, this got, I feel like this has to be during the time period when Lancelot is in the other dimension. That's what it seems like to me. But, at least for the first movie. But, what I'd like to see, at least for the second movie, or at the end of the first movie, going into the second movie, I'd like to see Lancelot return. That'd be very interesting. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy and Zinc. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more, um... Uh, Nakaba content, whether it be Four Nights of the Apocalypse or Seven Deadly Sins, a few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.